What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, NHL All-Star Game captains being named uh, for each division. Uh, definitely some intriguing storylines among the four. Uh, 43 is going to be 44-year-old Yarmir Yager. Uh, Alexander Ovechkin was on the cusp of 500 goals. Uh, Patrick Kane, who's had, um, let's just say, an interesting last year. And John Scott. Let's start with John Scott being the big story. Um, this is what happens when you open something up for everyone to vote for whoever they want. You, as much as you know, he doesn't belong in the All Star game and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He really doesn't belong in the NHL. But he got voted in fair and square. You really, you know, it's almost like the episode of South Park where they voted the uh, is it the turd sandwich or the giant douche for the school mascot. It's like. You open it up, and I'm not calling. I'm honestly not even trying to call John Scott a douche or a dessert sandwich, but um, it, when you open the electorate up to the general population to vote for whatever they want, uh, sometimes stuff like this happens. You know, the, the league going all hissy and pissy and, you know, the sanctity of the game. Bullshit. The All Star Games entertain. That's, that's, and first of all, sports on the whole exists for one reason, entertainment. That's that's why it's there. Pro sports, anyway. Youth sports is for love of the game. You know, now actually with, with AAU and USA Hockey showing that, it's a money grab, but that's the handle there. So, all right. A guy with one assist in 11 games that's been waived three times and been in the AHL that actually hasn't played an AHL game this season, but, like, I need a handle on that. Um... I guess that's, you know, what you, <laughs> you get to reap what you sow. And, you know, the NHL really can't get all, you know, high and mighty on, you know, this this can't happen. Well, then you, you had fan voting for a reason. But at any rate, it's still kind of funny to watch it. You know, the the holier than thou assholes get up and arms over it. But that's you know, what it is. Uh, Patrick Kane, right now, you know, the best player in the world by and large. Um, you know, really just, just absolutely lighting it up. Stanley Cup champ last year, obviously the tumultuous summer that was, you know, a PR nightmare for Kane, at the very least, a PR nightmare for Kane, uh, the Blackhawks in the league, being one of the other captains. You know what, I love Kane as a player, he should be the, you know, that was a smart thing to vote him in. Uh, Ovechkin, you know, what more needs to be said, and then Yager, after, this is... This is where I'm upset with with people that voted that much. Yager said if he plays, he could die. And you know, do you want to see Yager die? I don't ever, under any circumstances. So, you know, the the tweet there and then the tweets with Team of Solani. Uh, that's that's why you're gonna love Yager. And uh, you know, seeing him there is gonna be pretty interesting. And you know, the first place Florida Panthers, by the way. So Yager's been a big reason why. I mean, Yager's not even down there as like a, a, a run and joke. It's like, he, no, he's legitimately contributing to this team's success and doing some big-time things down there. Um, and, you know, because he's one of the greatest players in the history of the game, uh, having him down there I think is is great. And Or, yeah, down there in Nashville. So, you know, Derek Bentley's doing the uh, at the, t the musical lineup, so that's pretty cool. I like Derek Bentley. He's a good, talented singer and a big hockey fan. He actually... Fun fact about Derek Bentley, uh, he graduated from Vanderbilt, but he went to University of Vermont for a year, and the guy that lived across the hall from him was not other than Stanley Cup champ Tim Thomas, so kind of a small world. Interestingly, small world. But yeah, so yeah, Yager's numbers, 26 points in 34 games, really doing some great things on the line with Sasha Barkov and John Huberto. I hope Barkov's in the All-Star game, I think that would be really, really cool. And just hopefully the three-on-three -three doesn't kill him. Because the Panthers want to go far in the playoffs this year, and uh, gonna need Yager to do just that. So we'll see how it all shakes up. But again, you know, if you're getting all up in arms over the John Scott thing, you're an asshole. <laughs> Plain and simple. Anyway, that's all. I got some sort of the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.